Our next mansion story is called Spooky Tenants from October 1969. This is apparently a short story from Walt Disney Comics Digest, but it's not a comic strip. It's a text-based short story with some illustrations, I think. The only version of this I found is on the Haunted Mansion's fandom wiki, which posts the pictures and then has what purports to be the full text of the story just in the body of the wiki article, and I'm just taking it at the wiki's word that this is what was printed in the actual magazine, but the scans are cropped to just the images, so I don't know. This could just be someone's fanfic that they're trying to Mandela affect us into believing was printed in this magazine, like a really low-stakes version of Wag the Dog. But I have no particular reason to not trust the Haunted Mansion fandom wiki, so I will take it at their word that this is how the story goes, unless I am proven otherwise at some point in the future. Now this is the first, but not the last, mansion story to feature Mickey and the gang, as Goofy has been dealing with some annoying ghosts. Goofy, I just painted those steps, protested Mickey. Sorry, Mick, but I'm too tired to move. I haven't had a night's sleep in two weeks. All night long, this guy rides his bicycle right through my room. A guy rides his bicycle through your room? Said Mickey. Yes, and there's another guy that sits on the stairs and shuffles a pack of cards and laughs. Sometimes, when talking to Goofy, Mickey felt he had come in the middle of the late, late show. Which means on the open road is just a carpool karaoke number. Well, I don't really mind them, Goofy went on. They don't hurt anything and they sure don't need anything but they're so darn noisy. So Goofy naps at Mickey's house while Mickey researches the ghost's identity. Remember the old Harker house? Mickey asked his friend. It was torn down a little over two weeks ago. There was a story about it in the paper. Everyone always said that it was haunted. Well, I looked it up in the library. I think the ghost with the bicycle must be old Jonathan Harker. Jonathan Harker? From Dracula? That's a pretty big name ghost to end up with Goofy. The ghost with the cards would be Jonathan's nephew, Ebenezer. He liked to play cards. His wife liked to go to parties, so she used to steal one or two cards out of every deck he bought. Not sure I understand the cause and effect there. She liked to go to parties, so she stole cards? I like to make videos, so I eat tacos. You get the connection. He never had a full deck. It bothered him so much that he had a fit of apoplexy and died. Oh god, is fretting over losing something small fatal now? As if I needed more anxiety every time I can't find my keys. When they tore down the old Harker house, Mickey went on, the ghosts lost their home. I suppose they wandered around for a night or two and then found your place, which is, sir... Well, I know, said Goofy with a good nature. It's kind of run down and spooky looking. Well, yeah, your address is still listed as a bounce house, even though it hasn't been a bounce house in 17 years. Get your craft together, Goof. I'm sorry, Goofy, said Mickey. But this is an awfully ordinary house. Your ghost could be at a really great haunted house. So Mickey lures the ghost out of Goofy's house by negging Goofy's house. The house I'm thinking of will be perfect for the Harkers. It was built for ghosts. I like this backstory. There's no sea captain or Master Gracie. Nobody ever lived in the mansion. It was always built exclusively for ghosts. I wonder what the zoning permits are on that. I never thought I'd get rid of a bunch of ghosts by sending them to Disneyland, laughed Goofy. With the haunted mansion open, where else would you send a homeless spook? Said Mickey Mouse. So this is the first piece of ancillary media I found to purport that the actual attraction, physically in Disneyland, is a real haunted house with real ghosts. The story and song put the mansion in Anytown, USA, but this says that when you go to Disneyland, you are seeing real ghosts, including the ghost of Jonathan Harker, presumably. But otherwise, it's not really an adaptation of the mansion, it's just a story set in a world where the mansion is real, so I can't really judge it as a translation of the mansion's story and tone to a new medium, but as a potential backstory for some of the ghosts, it works as well as any. Next up in 1970, there was a read-along. So hurry back, we would like your company. 